new ideas for new vegetable varieties are emerging every day, all around the world. It all starts with a need, a trend, a new harvesting technique, a changing climate, but also diseases or chain partners activities. Breeding revolves around continuously improving a variety by crossing new and desired traits into existing varieties. To develop a product with stronger disease resistances, a fuller flavor, a longer shelf life, a different shape or color, and or a more consistent yield. Every day involves decisions. How can I make the best use of my people and resources? Which idea should we focus on? Which need and which variety is our top priority? It's impossible to meet every need and it's impossible to succeed alone. The ultimate challenge is to make the right choices. Breeding a new variety entails the highly targeted raising and crossing of the right parental plants. One of these plants contains the new desired traits. But each plant has thousands of traits, so gaining an overview of and then utilizing all those characteristics or genetics requires great expertise. After all, you can't see a plant's genetics from the outside. This makes it a complex process and one which requires a lot of patience because it can take years to go from a new idea to a new variety with the desired traits. In fact, sometimes it fails and we have to start all over again. Because a plant is a natural product, breeding in the new trait can also result in offspring with unintended traits. That's why we do reverse breeding, which is aimed at reverting to the parental line while retaining the new desired trait. The plant is verified against the initial ideas for the new variety each time, and all the data is saved at every step. After all, we need to be able to go one step back in the process if necessary. This spans many generations. On average, it takes six to seven years to breed a new cucumber variety. And although modern technological advancements give us better and faster insights into breeding, precise analysis and human skill are still essential. Despite it sometimes taking years before a new variety is ready for market launch, breeding is like a top-level team sport. We're constantly working on multiple vegetable varieties at various stages of development. The ability to innovate rapidly and anticipate market growth, which is influenced by numerous factors, is crucial. That's how we've been helping to stimulate vegetable consumption worldwide for almost a hundred years.